And Retail Media Network is really taking that same concept, which as a retailer, I have assets and they're valuable assets. I have my first party data. You know, I, I'll, I'll get out of the digital world for a digital world for a second. I have my store experience. I've got my channels, which is you know email and direct mail, and I've got you know programmatic channels. I've got on site, which is my own channels. And all I'm wanting to do is say, hey, for the clients that I, you know, sell in my store and my digital store, you know, right, whether it's beauty products at Ulta, cold medicine at Walgreens or, you know, oil at AutoZone, I now want to give them a way to leverage my data and my assets to have a better, more relevant conversation with my customers, because my customers are a valuable asset. In fact, I say to my clients, you know, that are in beauty and fashion, I say, you, you have a more valuable asset than Vogue.com. Well, you go, oh, their CPMs are this. And I go, but they have no transaction data. They can't tell you when this person last purchased. They can't tell you what they purchased and they can't tell you if they're in market. So they might be aspirational and they might be into fashion and they might want to buy your stuff or they might not. Um, um, your own data can show that to all the people, the people, the, the, the brands that are selling in your store not to mention all the non-endemic brands, that's the brands that might still want exposure to your assets because there's a relationship there, even if they're not sold, you know, as part of your um, offering.